Alright, so welcome back everyone to this other part of this tutorial. Alright, so in this tutorial we are going to be continuing from where we stopped in the last video. So where did we stop? Okay, let me quickly run the code again. Welcome to the Ultimate B2 Race. What is your name? I'll type my name there AY. So click on this check. Yes, what's the next thing? Let's get started. I click on the start. Fantastic. So it shows me the B2 and also the road. Alright, so I want the B2 not to be here. I want him to be coming here automatically by itself, not me dragging it here to start the game. So what I'm going to do right now is what I'm going to do right now is to write a code to can you see the position of the B2? Currently, when I drag it here, if I drag it up here now, this position X and Y changes. When I drag it back here, can you see what happens? It comes here. So what I will do is to drag it to the main position, which is here. Like this. And then the position is minus 163 and minus 120. So what I will do is to come to this motion and then do go to, can you see go to, let's see. Minus 123, minus 120, fantastic. So if yours is not like this, make sure that you type it. So yours, how you are going to achieve the position is just drag it to wherever you want it to be. Then change the position based on your own B2 position. So if, if you put yours here, that means the number is going to be different. So make sure that you type the number here. Don't, you may not copy mine because your own drawing may not be the same thing with mine. But if it is the same thing, just follow us. So what I will do next is to bring this go to put it up here like this. Can you see where I put it? So if I click here now, so no matter where it is, can you see? So even if I drag it here and then I click here, click on the wing, can you see what happens? It came back here immediately. Same same way when I click on the green flag, it also comes here. Alright, so next thing we need to do is to bring a sprite. Now to draw the start here, start and a flag here. But before we do that, I want us to do our um, okay. Let's put the the start here, like a line to cross the start. Okay, now see what I'm talking about here. Okay, let's just should we paint a new sprite? We can either paint or we can just choose. Okay, let's paint. So um, I just choose a line. To draw a line like this then change the size to like um oh you can't change i need to click on the arrow first then click on the line then come here change the size so can you see the arrow here the color is black so we're going to change the color here from black to like Oh no, the outline is going to be the outline from black to like let's say green. Alright, so can you see? So I need to make it smaller. I will still click on the arrow, click on the line, then make it smaller like this. Alright, so can you see it makes more sense now? So drag it up like this. Alright, so like this. So this is the starting point so and here we are going to have the finish yeah so what i will do is to get the okay i will get the uh what do you call it i will go and get a flag so i'll go just come to choose a sprite then look for a flag just type a flag type flag here flag so can you see there's a green flag here so this flame green flag i put it here this is the finish line so for this flag now this is what we are going to write we are going to write some code for this too now first code we are going to write for this sprite now let's change this one to our um, uh, line let's just type line instead of sprite one let's just type line there line all right so for the line we're going to write a code for it that says when we click on the green flag we want the line to hide and then when we 
when we broadcast when i receive display all then we want the line to show show like this can you see so if you know what you did now we'll be using this broadcast broadcast please take note of the broadcast all right so then for the flag too we are going to do the same thing for it when green flag is clicked hide and then when i receive broadcast when i receive display all then show now when it shows that is the flag we want the flag to do something now we want the flag to wait for something now what is that something now we want the flag to wait until this p2 reaches its size side rather there's something should happen which is broadcast bravo you win now but then before we do that we go to do something first we go to create uh two three things now the first one is going to be the life the life um the life that is the apple that the bit we eat to gain more life we're going to create the red danger that the devil we eat and the, the life we we we, we remove be removed start going down and then we're going to create the bravo and the game over but then before we do that let's create something which is the timer let's create the timer now the timer is the timer i will come to variables then i'm going to right click on this make a variable right click on it and then click on delete my variable variable then we have no variable yet so i'll come to make a variable now now make a variable timer so name it timer then click on ok then we have timer here so this is going to be our timer so the timer is going to be you know we time ourselves so while playing the game let's say we want to give 30 seconds for it to reach the flinch line so to achieve that i will click on my backdrop here backdrop that's stage that's where we are going to write the code so we're going to write our um, okay start from this when green flag is clicked okay we just okay, let's write another one when green flag is clicked and i go to my variable we want to hide the timer so that when you click on the green flag we're not seeing the timer here you want to see the timer only when we say broadcast when i receive broadcast display or that's when you say display or then the broadcast the timer should appear come to timer again then do sh show timer so when it shows timer right now what i want to do is i want the timer to wait to repeat now what you repeat i want the timer should repeat to repeat our um, because i want the timer we give it, okay let's do something here let's set the timer to like when we click on the green flag okay when we re click on the green flag let's set the timer to like 30 so let me click on this now let me see start so can you see the timer is currently 30 oh can you see the timer is going if i change the timer to like 45 what's going to happen 45 so let's leave the timer at 30 you can decide to change the timer based on your own perspective now what i want is i want the timer to be re reducing like minus one let's see minus one now see minus one can you see minus one but it's very very fast so what i will do minus one but then wait one second so when it's when it's minus one see can you see after one second it's minus minus one that is 30 minus one then wait one second 29 minus one wait one second 20 you know like that minus one wait one second minus one wait one second so that's what i've done here now so but if you repeat this change my timer until what 
until I go to my operators here I then write equals to pick equals to from there then go to my timer until the timer is equals to zero so it should continue to minus until the timer is equals to what zero so and when the timer is equals to zero what should happen for example now the timer starts minusing 28 26 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 like, like that once it gets to zero but then when it gets to zero what should happen i want it to do something which is broadcast i'll go to my event i then do broadcast game over so i'll come to display all then type new message game over You see what happens that when you got to zero it stopped because i've said it should repeat to minus until it gets to what zero so it stopped after it got to zero so then we should put broadcast game over down here can you see so let's quickly create something right now which is the game over just like i said before game over and also bravo so i will come to this create a new sprite then I'm going to draw a big chain color to like color purple. Oh, this color purple is so. This is pinky. This is not purple. all right so i'm going to change type the uh, game over see it's not showing anything so i need to change the color to like color red game over is more like red then come to the outline click on this arrow click on the arrow then come to outline then increase the outline to like change the color of the outline also to the red then the size to maybe like one okay one is okay so do you see now game over all right so I'll just come to this I'll create a new one also which is going to be Bravo create another one like this so I've come to this field click on this color picker then pick this color purple okay once color purple so just similar to the one for the like this all right so I will come to text then try type bravo then click on my arrow then change the color to like green that's for the bravo so for the bravo i want to capture letter bravo 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 what happens um let's do bravo for now bravo then go back to text again text again then type uh, bravo you got to the finish line I see so click on the arrow drag this down here but I'll change this color to the color white I think it's making more sense when it is white here bravo you got to the finish line like this 
So just drag this, drag this, let it be in the center. All right, so like this, fantastic. So if you're done with this, do yours too. I'll go to Sprite 1. I'll change the name from Sprite 1 to Game Over. I will go to Sprite 2, which for the Bravo, change the name to Bravo. So I'll go for the Game Over now and then click on code. And then the code I'm going to write for it is when green flag is clicked, I want it to hide. Hide. Then I'm going to write a code that says when I receive. Okay, that is from events. When I receive um, Game Over. Can you see? Remember when we were in flag, not in flag, in bad drop, we said when the timer is equals to zero, then broadcast game over. So we want the game over too. That is when the when the when the bad drop broadcast game over, then and the game over receive the game over, then what should happen? We want the game over to not show. Show. Like this. That's when the time elapses, get to zero. The game over should show and then what should happen to the, to the game they want to do stop or the game should stop can you see then we also go to the flag the green flag and then after the green flag is being displayed we say wait until can you see wait until the green flag i will go to my sensing and then do touching Touching Bravo, that's when the green flag. Let me quickly run it. Run it now. Okay, blah blah blah. So, when wait until the green flag, this green flag touches um the B2, rather touching the B2. Where's the B2? Yeah, the B2. Yes, then when the B2 get to the green flag, then what should happen? I want to broadcast Bravo. Go to my events and then do broadcast Bravo and wait. Change it and then type new message Bravo. So broadcast Bravo and wait. Then I've go to my Bravo. The right similar code I wrote for the game over. When green flag is clicked, then what should happen? I want it to hide. Then I will do when I receive Bravo show and then stop all. So let's let's test what we have done right now. Welcome to the ultimate beauty race AY. Welcome AY. Let's get started. I click on the start. So let me start playing it now. Go 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 go. No turn. Okay, I'm just going to speed this game. Just pass some corner. Oh, the time is up already. I was not watching the time. Can you see when the time was up? Do you see what happens? Same game over. So, again, I'm going to be very fast now. And I'm just going to run it through to get to the green flag and see what happens. Run. Let's see. I'm going to run. Be fast with the game. Start. Then run forward. Like this. Can you see? Bravo! You got to the finish line. Can you see? Because I was fast, I went to the. Even though I knew I cheated. But, anyways, I was just doing that for testing purpose. Alright, so next thing we need to do right now is to start bringing out the danger. So, the danger and also the life giver. So that so what we just need for the life giver and the danger is okay let's go to the choose a sprite so we need apple 
so the apple the color of the apple is color red you don't want color red so click on the custom for the apple custom then click on the arrow click on the apple change the color from red to green yes so that you can have green apple okay let's leave the size like this then we need the danger so i'll go to paint i'll just draw a red circle just a cycle click on the view change the color to red like this so that's all we need to do for the apple and the then go to the apple now what we're going to write is when i click when green flag clipped then what should happen we want to set the size of the apple to like like uh let's see 20 all right can you see 20 i think it's make more sense like this 20 yes then i want it to hide when i click on the green flag because remember when you click on the green flag it is only welcome devin and start guys are going to be working so we want it to hide but that time so i'll go to my looks and then do hide then i'll go to my events now and then do when i receive display or display or then what you happen show show like this you see that let me make this smaller show so show the apple will show the next thing i want to do right now is i want the apple to touch so i'm going to write a code now that will make the for example if i run start running my code now let's quickly start the game so oh, blah 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 enter let's get started start so can you see and then the, it touches the apple nothing happened so i want something to happen so what i will do right now is to go to my so i'll go to my control and then i will do wait until that is for the apple wait until touching b2 so the apple should wait until it touches b2 then what it, when it touches b2 what should happen i want the apple to hide So I want the apple to hide. So what I will do now is to go to my looks and then do hide. But then before it hide, what about the life? So we need to create a life here. There's no life that is increasing. Now to create a life that will appear here, what we just need to do is to go to our variables. Then come to make a variable. Then make a variable and type the name. Uh, make the name life like this. Life. Can you see? So we have if this one if I uncheck this one this will happen I need to make sure that I check the two so drag this one drag it up here so this is for the timer and this is for the life so can you see so what I will do is so I'll drag this when green flag is clicked set the life okay let's not do this one okay let's just do it here set the life to zero that's when I click on the green flag the life should always be zero if I change to like 5, click on it, can you see it's changed to 4? Oh, oh, it should be 5. Yes, let's give it a default life so that it will just come to the game without having a life. Just like every game that you play. There's only a life given to you. Let's say 3, 2. So you can decide to give it like 3 or 2, anyone. So it has 5 life when you click on the green flag, when you start the game. So what we have right now is, when you click on the green flag too, I want the... I want the life to show to disappear to be hiding to be hidden but when you when it's receive display or it should show that's life show variable life and then hide variable life here then what you have now when the apple touches the b2 then we want the life show to change with what by one that is if the life was five then we should have five plus one are you saying are you with me so let me run 
and then when it has changes it should hide let me quickly test it now green flag welcome to the ultimate beauty race then type ay again welcome ay you can start to start all right so when i go here now can you see what happens now the score increased towards six and then the life disappears do you see something now fantastic so let's go and do for the for the um for the danger similar thing the same thing we have done for apple so i want you to pause the video and go and think of how to write the code for the um for the danger so we're just gonna think and write the code for it now based on the code that we have written for the apple go and write the code for the danger red all right so let me just give a few minutes pause the video and do it all right so i believe you have done it to yourself you have gotten it okay let's continue now for the app for the code danger now what we're going to write now the first code is when green flag is clicked you want the you want it to hide like this then hide when it is hidden then we want to go to events and then do when i receive broadcast or so just like we have here can you see so oh we've not changed the size we need to change the size so i go to looks and then do set size to also to 20 percent like this then what are the code we also have here so for this one just give this one set life just leave that one don't need to write it for the so all you just need to do right now is when i receive display all show can you see so when it shows then it should wait wait until what then i go to my sensing touching B2, then when it touches B2, what should happen? It should change life by one. But this time around, you know, this is danger. So this one go to take the life of the B2. So let's it go to be minus one. So that when the B2 has six life now, it's going to be six minus one, five minus one, like that. Can you see? Then when it does that, then hide hide so let me quickly test the code all right so let's see let's get started start can you see what happened so this is the danger here let me let me come here can you see what happened the life is minus by one so fantastic so we're going to write a code here that says when the so i'm going to come here after the eden i'm going to come here and say wait until okay I'm going to do wait until again. Until I then go to equals to. Then go to equals to where is it? Then go to variables and do life is equals to zero. So when the life is equals to zero, what should happen? I'll be broadcast game over. Game over. Where is game over? Okay, broadcast game over. This is it. Broadcast game over and wait. So, game over and wait like this. So, that is when this life turns to zero, they want to broadcast game over. Alright, so basically, this is all the code we need to write. Yeah, so if you want to decide to add other things like add music to it, make it like um, when you click on the green flag, you want 
you want it also you want to add the features that when you touch it when you touch this white ground then the life is going to be reduced you can also add it for now i think we are done let's just run the code welcome to the ultimate v series ultimate type ey then let's see let's get started click into start yes let's see can you see come here can you see it has been minus fantastic but if you notice we only have two here we want more apple and also we want more apple and also danger are you with me so what we're going to do right now to get that done is we go to the apple all right so we go to the apple um and then you come here to the apple yeah we right click on it and then click on duplicate do you see what happens it appears you have to duplicate again can you see you have three again apple this is the main apple we have three apple now right click again duplicate right click duplicate right click so you can duplicate as many as possible but for mine i'm going to leave it as six i'll just cut it on the road I will do the same thing for danger. I will change the danger name from sprite one to danger. Yes, and the apple. Oh, I was to change the apple name to. Okay, let me just leave it as apple. You can change the name to of everything to life. Life, just change it to life. So danger. I'll right click on it again. Duplicate also. Duplicate. So I'll just have like six. Okay, I think danger should be more than yes, it should be more than the life. So we can have like about seven to ten danger. Alright, so I'll just spread it. Alright, so like this. So this is it. So if I let's now play the game now. I think we're done with the game. So also you can also increase the life and buff and the life and apple dice on this on the so you can increase it. But for my I'm just going to leave it like this. So I click on the green flag now to test run the code. Welcome to the bit to me series. What's the name? Type AY there. Welcome AY. Let's get started click me to start click then let's start playing it now so i need to avoid oh i have forgotten that there's time for me i need to be faster now turn can I meet up with the time? No. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, time is. Do you notice something here? That when the time is up and then I sh it shows going over, I can see the apple and the dot, 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 and the danger here. Doesn't really make sense. This is what I'm going to do. I'll go to each, one of, each and every one of them and then write a code for them that says. I'll go to my event and then do bring when I receive bring this out. So bring two of them. I will do for game over and then bravo. That is when I receive game over, I want it to hide. When I receive bravo, hide. So I can just drag it for each and every one of them. So if you don't get out to drag it, just go and take your time and then start writing the code for them, each one of them, over and over again. But me, all right. So see, 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 see. Yep. 
so like this okay okay um drag this one also so what i'm doing right now is like copy and pasting the code so if you notice the way i'm pasting it i already drop it when this this price shakes so that's once it shakes then i will go to um yes this then for the bravo i can just come here duplicate this change this to bravo come here duplicate bravo come here duplicate bravo do it for every one of them Alright, so I think this is it. Alright, so that is for the game. So um one final thing I want us to add. I just thought of it now. Let's add a music to it. Let's go to the green flag. That anytime the green the little touches the green flag before you sh display bravo. I want us to maybe like um a winning sound, like a sound that will make be made. Maybe people clapping, people rejoicing that you know the beat has won. So what I will do right now is to go to sounds here, sound tab here, then come to choose a sound. Then I need to choose the one. Okay, sports. Fantastic. So I'll choose this ghost chair. Okay, chair. I think the chair is okay. So I'll click on the chair. So this pop, I will delete this pop. So leave just the chair there. So come to this chair. So come to the sound now for the code. So remember for the sound chair, go to the code. Then for the code, we're going to do wait on the touching sound. Then do can you see play sound? Can you see? um okay play sound chair can you see on the down like this so let me quickly run the code yeah hey razor hey why welcome you why let's get started start start playing the game I want to meet up. Oh, I was almost getting to the green flag before his time elapses. So, okay, I know you can be very good at the game. Just try to play the game on your own. Okay, so take your time, watch the video. Anyone you don't understand, make sure you rewatch the video. And see if you still don't get it, um, you can reach out to me. Reach out to me, I will guide it through. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.